Hey guys, it's Ellen here. Today we're painting this fun, festive floral heart uh, for fall. Uh, I show you how I draw out the composition and how I create the colors. Pretty simple, straightforward. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials there weekly on Thursdays that come with uh, PDF download traceables. So let's get started. Okay, so here I'm going to show you how I get my sketchbook out and I'm drawing up some hearts just to figure out what kind of composition I want to do and how I want to place the flowers around. I'm just going through with my pencil and just flushing out um, where I want to put some flowers and smaller flowers in the heart composition. You know, and here I'm just balancing out in a three sunflower, you know, around the heart and then throwing in some smaller roses and poppies and chrysanthemums just to fill in the space as well as adding in some small leaves and some little berries and ditzy flowers on the outside of the heart. I'm not so sure about that one so I'll go back in and I'll draw another heart and I'll put in some more of the same similar flowers in a different fashion maybe smaller um, more spread out and you know less big sunflowers maybe kind of similar in shape and size for the other flowers that I'm going to be doing just to see how I like either heart you know I don't always plan out to do my florals this way but sometimes I do just to help me um, when I'm painting instead of just going blindly I like to do blindly also I like to do intuitive painting which I call it's basically what it is just intuitively painting um, the composition you know just go, going by the feeling and whatnot but sometimes I like to plan it out I'm just showing on the side how I draw out the sunflower and the poppy and the rose you know, very simple I have many tutorials on how to do this um, just to get an idea of how the flower works. I like to show the sunflowers on the side mostly. Sometimes I show them frontwards but not much. So then I just sketch it out and then I'm done with my composition and I'm ready to go to the final sketch and the painting. Now that I drew up my um, design and how I wanted to configure where I want to put the sunflowers and the other flowers in the heart, I just placed it in here. I have a seven inch by seven inch piece of Arches 100% cotton paper. I've got my paints here. I'll go over them as I use them. They'll be in the description box as always. My Princeton number no. eight long round velvet touch brush, paper towels and water. I always will start probably with the lightest of shades. I'm going to put in the sunflowers first. Um, I make my yellow more of a bright um, yellow yellow orange color so I have my cadmium yellow deep with some brilliant orange and a little bit of brown touched in Van Dyke brown and I can make it more yellow or less yellow if I want to um, tapping on the paper towel is actually a great way to if you don't have scrapbook paper to see how the color is looking if it's looking the color you want it to be Right now, I feel like mine is a little too orangey. So I might lift some of this paint up and go back and add the yellow. And water it down. And I'll just go fill in my sunflowers. These are pretty straightforward flowers, petals. Just use your brush tip and a backward forward motion, see? Just filling in the little petals all around. I like to show my sunflowers kind of on the side. Got a little straightforward one here. Uh, mainly I like to put them on the side. So I'm just going to go and fill in all these sunflowers while it's still wet if you want to add in another color while it's still wet I take some brilliant orange just a little bit I'll add a little Van Dyke brown to that just a little bit of water not too much and you can tap in just in the edge and it will bleed up if it doesn't bleed up you can just clean off your brush and manipulate the paint to move it just like that it just adds another little pretty 
interest to the sunflower. You can also go back in later and do it. It's just be layering as opposed to having it wet and wet wash in. But it doesn't really matter. You can do it any way you want. Now I have so many tutorials on painting sunflowers. I don't want to um, be not monotonous with this. We're just going to whip through the sunflowers. And see how I place them around the heart. Composition, excuse me, composition is really key when you're making any kind of design. The placement of where things go. It, like I said many times, it could be all on one side, it could be in the middle. So I am arranging the sunflowers around the heart, kind of in the bullet points of the heart, the bottom and the two left and right areas. And that will anchor this composition. Again, we just go flood in some of that orange, just like we did. Take a little bit of that brown too. Some sunflowers have a darker tone to them, some don't. You can play around with that. See? I always add it in from the, the center. Just tapping in some of this orangey color. Moving along, I'm going to put in some reds, maybe some purples. So I'll do my magenta. I'll add in a little bit of this yellow to tone it down to red. Touch the Van Dyke brown. It's like a cranberry color. And I can put a nice little poppy here. Um, you're doing like a half circle here. Another one. Another one. And then like that. Half moon. That will create a little poppy. I have another one up here that I've drawn in. You see it's coming out of the, the heart, which is fine. You want some interest. You don't want it to be like this perfect heart. You want to have the flowers come all over inside and out. Again, I'm going to anchor it somewhat. I'm going to put a little one over here. The reds. See how I'm doing the three are yellows, three reds. I might put a purple tone in, so I haven't done that in a while. I've got uh, Prussian blue and peacock blue, now the magenta here. Got a nice purple tone. Let's see how that looks. It's a little too deep. I want it more like a pink purple. So I'll add my magenta. And I'll have to water this down. Get the color I'm looking for. And then I'll just put this simple brush stroke, see? Line, 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 connect, right? And then I do some teeny ones. Again, it's kind of in the shape, but not really. And then I'll do another one over here. If you look at the navy and burgundy floral in my YouTube channel, You'll see how I create these simple flowers. They kind of look like chrysanthemums. Very simple. And I'll wait till that dries and I'll add in a deeper tone to that. Now the middle one, I think I was thinking of rose. I was thinking maybe burgundy, but now that I did the red, I have to think, hmm. Do I want it darker? Do I want it lighter? I might do a blush color. So I'm grabbing some of this yellow. With the magenta. I have to play around to get this color. It's 
looking a little dirty. You want it pretty. Add some yellow. I'll water it down and see how it looks. Still not quite there. Blush is a tricky one. You don't want it too orange, you don't want it too red. All right, I think we're kind of there. Gonna have some of that brilliant orange. Hmm, there we go. Now, actually, I don't know because you see, then it's gonna be too much red right in here. This is where you intuitively come out of your like, hmm. Do I want to do that? Do not want to do that. And I've already established what I'm doing here. I could do a purple one. I could just take this rose out, which I had drawn in here, which I'm going to do. Oops. And then put another purple flower in to break up what I did. Because it was going to be red, 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 right? And now it won't. Now I've faked it out. <laughs> now I could put the blush color in or more of a pink color. So we could put the rose in here. And since I've made a little mess with that, that's perfect. Grab some of that orange. Ugh. Just push the paint around. This is me doing here. Leave little white spaces. Just indicate that it's a rose. This might be a good time to put in some greenery because we're filling it up with a lot of flowers and not enough greenery. I have actually this olive green. It is actually gouache. Okay. So this is olive green gouache actually. But you can water it down just like watercolor. So you can paint it opaque or loose. I'll add on the Van Dyke brown too. And you can mix your watercolors with it because obviously you see me mix my Van Dyke watercolor with it. So I, I suggest you guys always try out some new things. Here I've got this green. I'm going to add a little blue to that. Peacock blue. I want a darker green. I'm going to put some greenery in here now. I want even darker. Sunflowers have really dark leaves. I'm out of the heart, but I don't want to be too much out of the heart. Because then you get confused about what, what it actually is. Put a leaf down here. Bottom of the heart. Put one over in here. I can find myself putting one up here. Still want to put a flower up in here, and I'll put something peeking through here. I'll get most of my shapes and flowers in, and then I go in and tweak it at the end. So I'm putting another green here, greener in here. I might add some bright greenery in between that. You want a variety of greens and colors. can all be like one tonality. So I see I have a space up here. Perfect timing to put in pretty blushy color flower. And put a nice little rose in here. Just like that. And I go back in the greenery. like that. Still have the heart shape. And now we're just going to go tweak it, adding in, oh, green got right in there. See that? We'll just fix that. Um, we're going to tweak it. Let me put a little flower in here. Um, we already used yellows. We'll do some orange in there. 
we just put a little petal flower in there. If you have no art, or else that you did an orange, you might want to throw a little orange petal flower in here. It doesn't really matter if you didn't or didn't. And here I was just tweaking in the sunflower before you put in the dark colors of it. So I'll take the tip of my brush, add a little orange to that, and just flush out some little line ridges that go on the sunflower, just to give it some depth. And add a little more yellow if I wanted to. This is where we get the details. Because we're almost done. Didn't want to make this tutorial too long today. The end of the week. Everyone's tired. I know I am very tired. So I'll go in here, like you see here. I'll add in some nice detail ridges. Like I said, you want to do this way before you stick in your dark blacks and browns for the center. I could even throw in like a little red color. I mean, really. Go crazy, a little brown. See, I'm just tweaking it up a little bit. Get some more of that yellow in here. It's just gonna pl really punch up the flower by adding in the different tones as opposed to just keeping it flat yellow. It looks more like it's been around for a while. And then of course the same thing on the uh, poppy. Go back in. Made it with this darker red here. Might be a little too dark. We could just water that down. Again, it's a little too dark. Just water it down a little bit. And just keep adding that in. You want those different color tonalities. This one, I'm just going to fill in the whole thing because I feel like it got too pink. I want that deeper red. Much deeper. We can add a little bit of that to the rose. I always seem to paint it on like one side. To me, that's just how I like to do it. And the purple. Let's get in there. Get that deeper purple color. Just putting in some strokes that are darker than we first put down. See, now it looks more like a chrysanthemum. It just really pulls it, lifts it right off. Just adding those different tones. And the same thing with the greens. Go in and add some deeper greens. Look at the veins. At this point, I would say I can go in and add in my dark centers. So I have, I could cheat, which I'm probably gonna do. Got my messy, messy, messy palette. I don't know, people have clean palettes. I love the mess. I'll add a little Prussian, a little brown to make this blackish blue. And I'll just fill that in. You know me and my halo. I leave a little white, kind of how I roll. And then do the same thing over here. I like the way that looks when I have that little halo. And then I'll fill in the 
copy the same way. Leave a little halo. It's gonna lighten up, so you can have to, might have to go back over it again and uh, add in some deeper tones to it. So as I was saying, you might have to go back over the black area with brown or whatever if it's not dark enough. Look like another time because it's gonna you know it's gonna dry pretty late. And then I'm just gonna tweak it now. I'll go in and add like cute little stems coming out like this. See that? Pull out some little teeny tiny stems. And you could put berries on them. Do no leaf, the little stem. This is the way the tweaking starts. So then I can go in. I don't have orange anywhere else except that one spot. Actually, I can't even tell it. And I'll put the purple right in there. But if you wanted a pretty orange, Just a couple little buds. I would do that. Just brightens it up a little bit. All right? And go back in this little orange bud here. That just makes it ever so pretty. I'm going tweaking in there. That's all you do. You can put a little pink one too. And put a pink bud with some berries coming out. Whatever, whatever you feel like doing. Again, I'll add a little bit darker to the rose. And then this area. You can go in and add a little navy if you wanted to. See my little navy instead of the black. I put my dough, I had black on it, but I'm gonna go over it with navy. There you go. Isn't that sweet? Made a great gift to give somebody who's got a birthday in the fall. I'm sure they would love it. Frame it up, sign it, um, or card, whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget, don't forget to hit that bell notification button, ding, um, to know my tutorials are up. Uh, also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials over there weekly with the traceable downloads that go with the tutorials that I don't always have on the YouTube. And I try and put some traceables in there for the student here. It's difficult to try and do everything, <laughs> but I'm doing my best, guys. And I appreciate um, all of you and um, appreciate you coming to my channel. And I have my other channel, the Acrylic Art Channel. Um, it's called Amazing Art. It's in my description box and it's in my About page. I am trying to build that. If you would go over and subscribe and check that out. We appreciate it so much. So take care. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll speak to you soon.